I often think about the immense change which is possible within business and industry and society, which can naturally only flow from the change which happens in people's personal lives. And as I've done this work and explored my own triggers, programming and conditioning, it's very clear to me that whatever unfolds in business and also the potential which is available to all of us in business stems directly from our personal lives and who we're being on a day-to-day -day basis. It's very important that we do the work as leaders, as people in positions in business which might have some influence or power, and even those people who just show up and are doing the work that they want to do to the best of their ability, we need to look at ourselves. Because if you can have a look at what you're doing from a day-to-day -day basis in your personal life, what fears do you have? What triggers do you have? Because these fears are the undercurrent that go with you in everything that you do in business and these more complex environments that you're a part of. The triggers that you may have at home with people close to you, loving partners, are the same triggers that go with you to work and show up in the business sense. You may want to pretend that they don't, and you may do your very best to suppress them and leave them at home. But until they've been really, truly, fully revealed for what they are, they're no different whether you're at home or whether you're at business. Your title changes, your professional character gets put on when you go to work. But what you carry within you is what you carry with you into these environments as well. So healing really needs to start on how we are showing up and who we're being every day when we see these things the ego then starts to have a far less of a hold on us when we show up in different environments and when we're in environments which have a certain intensity when decisions are needing to be made or when things aren't going the way we may want them to go this is when the ego really rears its head this is when there's reactivity in business this is when there's control in business this is when people judge colleagues and people around them while important decisions and functions are needing to be fulfilled. But it's not you that's reacting. It's not you that wants control. It's the limited you. It's the false you. It's the ego. And the more you see this, the more you understand who you really are. This is why I think it is so important for people in business to really do the work suddenly business can become a far more harmonious place and you'll see that your home and your day-to-day -day personal life is a far more harmonious journey itself because wherever you are you are always there are you aware of what your triggers are your unconscious patterns are your programs are how is the ego running your life and by ego i mean the not you Whatever your name is, whatever your title is, whatever positions you hold, that all forms part of the ego. And when we go beyond this, we give ourselves, the people around us, and society at large, the greatest opportunity to heal and operate in a way that represents the truth of who we are. A more respectful, compassionate, abundant society and a far less fear-based, controlling, limited society. Which one do you pick? And if you are picking the more expansive, abundant, compassionate society, then you've got work to do because you have to play your individual part in healing your conditioning so that you can contribute on the highest level to the society and planet that we all choose to be a part of. I think business has the most amazing opportunity to reflect who we truly are or it is only a collective or a space where people who have no idea the truth of who they are show up and create more chaos in our world.